guys. So it has been a long busy day and it's almost 9 o'clock at night right now. But I really need to get this video up and I did actually record it a few weeks ago and then something happened with the footage and I, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get it even into iMovie. So we are going to re-record today because I really want to get this video up like, you know, before summer is over since it's about self tanners. So um, I just want to talk to you really quickly about my favorite self tanners and kind of how I use them. And yeah, so let's just jump right in. Um, the first one I believe I tried from Million Dollar Tan, which is my favorite right now. Um, I do want to try maybe the famous Dave's, which I've been hearing more about lately. Um, but the best one I've tried so far, I'll just say right now, is Million Dollar Tan. Um, they are on Hot Look sometimes, which I keep forgetting to check lately, but they are on there sometimes. And um, But you can always find a discount code for their website, which is MillionDollarTan.com. Usually like 15% or something, you know, just a little bit, but it does help. Um, it just covers shipping at least. So, yeah. But the first one I I tried, the first one I tried from them was the Tan Icon. Um, obviously, it's not the very first bottle I tried because I've been using this for like two years or so. Um, but it's the Tan Icon Sunless Tanning Solution. Um, now, I would definitely recommend, if you want a good color, don't be afraid of getting the extreme. Um, I wish I had just gotten the extreme the first time. Because um, it's not going to be like insanely you're not going to look like oh she just went and got a spray tan or she's obviously like you know self tan or something you're not going to be orange um yeah if you want a good color just go for the extreme if you want something just light just like a natural glow then get the original the tan icon um this is a tan icon and when you order this it comes with this little handy sponge on a handle um, and this does last a long time um, you know I've had this for a while you just wash it and reuse it this is really easy especially for the arms um, it's really good for getting like around the wrists and hands without getting um, orange hand palms so that is really handy with that um, it does take a little bit longer for legs but not too long and um, yeah for all of these, I like to apply them at night. Um, you always want to make sure you are well exfoliated and moisturize any dry patches. They do sell a tan guard, but I've never used that. I just use like body butter and rub it into like my toes and like the bottoms of my feet, heels, um, knees, elbows, anywhere you're extra dry because you don't want anywhere that's really dry. That color is going to like really stick there and you're going to end up with dark patches which still happens sometimes, but as long as you exfoliate really well and moisturize the dry areas, it usually turns out pretty well. And I also moisturize my whole body morning and night to help preserve. And I just have really dry, flaky skin in general, everywhere except my face. And there's, you know, a greasy mess like it is right now. But, um, yeah. So, with any of these, obviously. And you can look up tutorials. Um, when I first got this, I watched Nicole Guerrero's tutorial a few times to really just get the hang of it, and it turned out great. So, yeah. And then I also have the lotion, the Cabana Tan Extreme lotion. Um, the lotion version does take a little bit longer to apply and to dry, but I feel like you get like a little bit because you can apply more and just rub it all in really well until it's absorbed. You can get a little bit deeper of a color with the lotion, I feel. And um, there is no color guard with the lotion. There is a color guard with the spray and the mousse. But I don't really mind not having a color guard with this because really you can just rub it in all over. And um, as long as you apply it evenly, you're going to have an even tan. You're not going to have streaks or anything like that. And you just get a really great tan. Um, the only thing is you don't have any immediate color, which is kind of nice, so you can already see results. But, um, but I like to apply any of these at night anyway, so I don't spend the day smelling like self-tan. Um, this does, these do smell pretty good going on, like kind of coconutty. They don't smell bad by any means, but any self-tanner at all, um, 
it, you're gonna smell like a little bit like self tanner after a few hours. So, um, and it does need at least like six to eight hours to develop. So I like to just apply it at night and then wake up with a tan and then you can just wash it off in the shower. So yeah. And then I have the Cabana Tan Extreme Face and this is what I still use to um, do my neck and chest. Um, most of the time I don't bother doing my face anymore. So next time I probably won't bother even getting the face one, but um, yeah, it is handy to have if I do want to tan my face. And the skin right here is kind of sensitive, so I like to just use that there anyway. And um, yeah, it gives me a good color. Um, I did use it last night, and it's not like, you know, crazy dark or anything. So again, don't be scared of getting the extreme. So then I have the Corora Express Bronzing Mousse and um, I did get this from Ulta soon after they started selling this. Um, this did work really well. I love this mousse. It dries really fast, easy to apply. I just used my tanning mitt. You can get these pretty much anywhere. I don't even know, remember which brand this one is. And it's dirty because I used it last night and I haven't washed it yet. But um, yeah, there's all kinds of tanning mitts you can get. I think I got this one at Ulta. Um, yeah. But this one, no matter how long it was on, like, it just left me feeling sticky. It just, even hours later, I would just feel sticky and gross. So, I mean, that's especially bad when it's, like, really humid and it takes a while to dry anyway. Um, so I would not repurchase this one. This is the only one I'm showing you that I would not repurchase. Um, yeah, and it's not like I just like layered it on, you know, I just put on a regular layer and I would still feel sticky. So yeah, it worked well, but not fond of the stickiness. Um, and then my absolute favorite um, is the Million Dollar Tan Mermaid Mousse Extreme, which they just came out with this year. Um, amazing, I love it. I do feel like because it's a mousse and it applies more sheerly, um, I feel like I get a little less color maybe than I did with the lotion because I would just apply a lot of that and just rub it all in really good until it was absorbed. But um, if I want a deeper color with this, I'll just like apply it and then a few days later apply it again and then it'll just kind of build on it and you'll get a deeper color. Um, so yeah. But this is the most foolproof self tan you can do. Because all you got to do is exfoliate and moisturize, like I said before, take your mitt, squirt a few pumps on, rub it all over. I mean, it's literally so easy. If you're new to self tanners, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, it's just so easy. Um, and then you won't get orange palms or anything like that. All you do is, you know, once I'm done, I'll just like put it on my hand. And to get the tops of my hands, I'll just rub it over there and then do the same thing, you know, so you don't even end up, like, you don't even touch it and it rubs in so easy, dries really quick so you can get dressed just a few minutes later and you're good to go. Um, again, I have applied this in the morning, but then again throughout the day, I kept just keep getting whiffs of, like, salt tanner. So I don't really like that. Um, so again, I still like to apply it at night. But that is my absolute favorite right now, and I would highly recommend it. Um, again, you can always just Google Million Dollar Tan discount code, go to their website, um, and you can order from there. Um, yeah, so that is my definite favorite so far this summer, and I keep forgetting to mention it in like my monthly favorites, so that's another reason I wanted to go ahead and do this video for you guys. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, again, um, I don't have a tutorial on actually doing it. I probably won't because I'm not gonna, um, it's kind of difficult to do because you have to be like half naked in front of the camera, which I'm not gonna do. So, um, yeah, but you can always look up other tutorials. Like, like I recommended Nicole Guerrero's tutorial. Um, that was very helpful to me when I was just starting. So, yeah. Um... So that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, um, Pinterest, 
and all the fun stuff there. So I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Lexi, can you roll over? Can you roll over? Come here. You wanna say hi? No? No? Fine. You're not very nice. Hey, down. Roll over. Roll over. Good girl. Good girl. Can you sit pretty? Oh, you already are. <laughs> sit pretty. Come here. Sit pretty. Good girl. Good girl. Look at the camera. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Say bye. Say bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Huh? You say bye? Bye bye. Your ears pulled it over, silly. There you go. <sighs> So this is what it looks like from the back. I just filmed that video on my favorite self tanners. And yes, I'm still dressed up because I went to work and then to church. It's late right now, it's dark out. So yeah. Here's my outfit. I love this skirt that I got from Gordman's. New Target tank top. Shop Lately necklace and a little shrug my mom gave me. So, that's it. Bye guys.